This is Red West. You're about to hear a telephone conversation between Elvis Presley and myself that I recorded sometime in October 1976 while I was in Los Angeles writing the book Elvis What Happened, along with my cousin Sonny West and Dave Hebler. It was no secret that we were writing the book, and knowing Elvis as I did, I knew he would try to contact us. I also knew we would be called liars, Judases, traitors, and any other expletives by fans and even some people around him who we had been close to up until this time. I knew that he would reveal in this conversation enough information that would substantiate what we said in the book. It was even more than I had expected and more than I wanted to hear. By this, I mean I heard a sad and lonely man, a man I had grown up with, and watched rise from near poverty to become the greatest entertainer this world will ever see. A boy in a man's body who could not handle the celebrity that he had now become. I had a sinking feeling that I would never see my best friend again. And I didn't. Right, man, a lot of 
chips it went into, man. That was a lot bigger. It was like <laughs> bigger, but the damn truck that hauled them over the market. <laughs> <laughs> that's bad. I like that. Thank you. 
just, I don't know. I, I just thought. You sure was not me. I don't know who the hell was. You yeah. sure was too much. Yeah. But, uh, anyway, you know, it's all done. And that's it, I guess, now, you know. That's, uh, How's that? I 
when I was getting married.
Any deal?
like that, and I went around in the room and asked me if you wanted to talk to somebody or whatever. Yeah. 